Yeah, I thought I'd do a quick little video here on uh, one of my bench supplies. It's an HP uh, 6033A. It uh, is adjustable from 0 to 20 volts and 0 to 30 amps. I've had this supply for oh, a number of weeks now. I have three of these, and this one is the one I chose to use on the bench. And I use it to power small radios. Uh, it can power a HF transceiver, but mostly used for two meter radios and working on uh, uh, CB radios and stuff. And it supplies enough power for that. But I want to just kind of go over its uh, general operation here to uh, set your current level. Make sure that it's in a current. You hold the uh, display settings button down and you can set your current limit. Go all the way up to 30 or uh, 30 amps with this unit. But we're going to set it for 5 amps. So for that. And to set the voltage, you press the, uh, the key here to go to the voltage settings and you can turn the voltage up. And we'll set that to 13.8. Uh, this power supply is uh, pretty robust. It has uh, HPIB uh, compatibility or availability. This actually, this power supply is set up uh, into my ATE system here, so I'll give a quick demonstration of how you can control the power supply with the uh, HPIB. But anyway, let me uh, do a couple things here, and we'll get back at it. All right, uh, whenever I want to. Uh, set this power supply up with a computer. I use a uh, software package called uh, a GPIB Tools. This is a free software package that's downloadable and it comes with several command line based uh, programs. The one I'm going to demonstrate here is called talk.exe. This allows you to send uh, raw commands to the instrument and uh, in this case I use uh, batch files. So I have several batch files here uh, that I use to set the power supply. Uh, LP.bat is the one I use for setting when I want to run something low power like a, a CB radio or a, a small 2 meter radio. Uh, HP.bat is for high power which is uh, settings I use for larger radios like HF transceivers and higher output uh, 2 meter 70 centimeter rigs. And so basically, I just found I want to set the power supply up. Let's say I want to set it for low power, so I'll just type LP, and I have it echo to the screen uh, that the power supply is ready. It's in off, and over voltage is set to 14 volts, and overcurrent set to 7 amps. So basically, to turn the thing on, I have another batch file that's just on. So we just type that in. Man, power supply is on. And it is currently set to 13.8 volts and 5 amps. Now I also uh, give myself some protection here so in case I bump the knob it won't go above 14 volts. Same thing with the current. I can bump the knob. Whoops, let's change that. I can bump the knob and it won't go any higher than 7 amps. So that kind of adds a little extra protection. And then when I want to restore it, I just either retype the same command, or I can type the clear command and reset the power supply back to the power on condition. Now the power supply is back to a power on condition. And now we'll uh, type for high power, turn the power supply back on, bam, there we go current set for 20 amps. Now these uh, supplies are plentiful on eBay. I picked up three of these things. Uh, the seller I got them for was selling them for $90 each. I only had to uh, do a minor repair on one. I had to replace the, uh, the cooling power or the, uh, the uh, cooling fan for the power supply. And they were pretty dusty on the inside. They'd been used pretty extensively. Uh, but they had been serviced, they 
were just basically retired and all I had to do was just blow the things out and clean them up a little bit and they work just fine. But if you're looking for a good power supply, you know, that you can use on the bench that's programmable via the computer or if you don't have that ability, you can just use the front panel adjustments. These, I would recommend one of these. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye.